Yeah. Hi guys, welcome to Marksburg High School, and um, thank you guys for coming to 2023 Signing Day. We have uh, four student athletes today that are going to sign their national letter of intent to uh, play college football. We've already had one early signee, and um, these guys are going to sign today. And then I, th I believe we're going to also have other guys sign after this date. But this, today is is all about these guys, and uh, we'll talk a little bit about each of those. Um, starting right to left here, Brent Terwilliger, uh, kick for us last couple years, done a really great job for us. He is uh, continuing his career at Gannon. All right, Roman Pearson is heading to Shepard um, as, a, as a wide receiver. Roman uh, started for us for multiple years, He's done a great job. He's been a great leader for us as well. Jameer has decided on Fairmont State. Uh, Jameer won the Fulton Walker Award for the best special teams player in the state this year. A very explosive guy, and, and we were glad to have him this year. And then Eric, Eric King has been a major contributor to our team the last couple years, and uh, Eric has been a great team player and done a great job, and he's heading on to Bluefield State. All right. So we'll start with Jameer. Jameer's folks. Speech. <laughs> uh, uh, I was just thankful to be a part of this team this year. Uh, I just love the, the team um, atmosphere here. I uh, love the coaching. Uh, every every single last one of them made me better. Every player made me better. Uh, going against all these guys just made me better. I'm um, just thankful to be going to college. Now joined by Jameer Hunter Martinsburg, wide receiver. Congrats, man, going to Fairmont State. Congrats. Just uh, talk us through what led you to that decision, man. Uh, just felt like home. Um, and there's a lot that goes into it. Um, comes from uh, parents' decisions, like everything. Like I just felt like home, like to me. Yep. What are you most excited for with this part of your journey? I'm ready to get on the field again. Like. That's, that's what I was hoping for, and that's what I'm here for, so I'm ready to get on the field. Special season for you this year at Martinsburg. What are you going to miss most about being a Bulldog? Hey, I'm going to miss this atmosphere. I love, the, I love the home atmosphere they have here. I love the coaching here. I love everything about this place, so I'm glad I, I came here my last year. What are you going to be doing this off season to get ready to go to Fairmont State? Uh, working out with the players up there. Um, I'm just ready to get back on the field, so do everything I can just to play my first year. All right, man, anything else you want to say to Martinsburg or anything? That's it, that's it. Go Falcons. All right, Roman Pearson is out in the Shepherd University. Well, uh, I want to start with my amazing family for always leading me in the right direction and also Coach Sherman for seeing the potential in me and pushing me every single day to get better and all the guys surrounding me. Thank you guys. Now with Roman Pearson of the Martinsburg Bulldogs wide receiver committing to Shepherd University today. Roman, congrats on it. How's Thank it you. feel, man? Feels good. I mean, next step in the journey. What uh, just made you go to this decision and choose Shepherd? Well, I enjoyed the coaches. Well, I love the atmosphere first. The atmosphere is the best D2 around here. And um, the coaches really, not just as a football player, but it seemed like they really care for you as a person and basically treat you like family. It's a local school, so your friends and family can okay. come see you every Saturday. Okay. Uh, just talk about how special that is and what you're most excited for is get to be a Ram. What I'm most excited for play, I mean, I know they got a lot of scouts down there, so I'm interested in that. See if I can even make it to the NFL. We'll see. Hopefully, that'd be awesome, man. Get a couple more guys uh, from Shepard to go into the NFL. But uh, I know you mentioned that you're now working with Dylan Brewer, former Martinsburg guy, former Shepard Ram. So, what are you guys going to be working on during the off season to get ready for the upcoming season with Shepard? Mostly just focusing on my skill, my route running, my speed and agility, and then learning some of the playbook. Uh, a couple other guys from Jefferson also going, hopefully maybe a few others from uh, 
Shepard, a few guys around the EPAC also currently uh, at Shepard, so how cool will it be to get to join them? I mean, I've been buddies with them for a very long time. Most of us have played on uh, West Virginia Elite, so it's cool to team up and play with them. Terrell Williger signing the Gannon. I never thought I'd be playing football in college, but I guess I guess is where family starts is football. So thank you for everybody helping me get my way to college. Now joined by Brett Terwilliger, kicker, Martinsburg Bulldogs. Congrats, man. You're going to Gannon University, PSAC team. So we'll get to see you a few times. Tell you're really excited about it. What led to this decision? Uh, I think I think more so family. Um, I know. All the coaches gave me love and stuff at different schools and everything, but I think like better better area for me, more stuff to do, um, and then the coaches staff again it was just unbelievable. So it was, um, they they made me feel like home. So so I had to go where home was. So so yeah. During the off season, what are going to be a few things that you're going to be working on to get, continue to get better and get some time there again? And um, right now I'm in the I'm in the weight room every day. Um, I know every other day I hit legs just to make sure my legs are getting stronger. Um, I mean, I go, I'm, I'm going up in the summer, and I think so, to take a class to, to get used to the area before everybody's up there, and then starting the facilities and getting that indoor. Sorry, sorry, going to go kick. So, as I mentioned, Gannon in the Pennsylvania State Athletic Conference alongside Shepard. How cool would it be to potentially get to play Shepard a few times and get to see a few of your buddies of old? Oh yeah, I mean, um, PSAC, I know we have multiple t like people that have graduated from here going to different schools in the PSAC, but I know Shepard, she Shepard's probably a big rival school now for me because of all the kids that are going there now. I mean, you, you even have Jefferson kids going there. So hopefully hopefully one day I'll get to see them all and then show them what's up. What are you going to miss most about uh, being a Martinsburg Bulldog? Uh, definitely the, the pregame locker room. It was crazy, and also probably bus rides. Bus rides were probably the best thing ever. So. All right, anything else, man, that you want to say or thank anybody? Um, I'm, I'm good. All right, thanks. Congrats, man, again. Thank you. All right, guys, Eric King, son of the Bluefield State University. First and foremost, I want to thank God, because without him, I wouldn't have the opportunity to play football at the next level. And I want to um, thank my friend Bam. He passed away my going in my sophomore year. He loved the game of football. And all the hard work I put into it, I put in the work for him. And I want to thank my family, because um, without them, I wouldn't have the chance to play at the next level. And thank all my old coaches and my school coaches for seeing the potential in me. Amen. Now joined by Eric King. Eric, congrats. You're going to go play defensive end at Bluefield State committing today. What are you most excited for, man? I'm most excited for um, going down to Bluefield, putting the work, and hopefully stars a, stars a freshman. So a few offers for you. Uh, what led to your decision to choose Bluefield State? Well, first of all, Bluefield is now in a CIAA. And, um, my family's been around the CIAA for a while now, and I just feel like Bluefield was the right choice for me, um, especially their coaching staff. Coach Rob, nice dude, nice to be around, will coach you well, and, um, and I just always want to go to HBCU, so I feel like Bluefield was the great opportunity for me, and yeah. Yeah, you just mentioned it, HBCU, those really get more and more nationally recognized over the past few years, so how cool is it going to be to get to say that you're getting to go to one now, man? Um, it feels uh, it feels amazing, and um, a little nervous, whole new environment, whole new crowd, just, just ready to go down there and put in the work. What are you going to be doing this off season to get ready for it? Um, get stronger, get faster, and get my hands quicker. What are you going to miss most about being a Martinsburg Bulldog? Um, Friday night atmosphere. I'm going to miss that. Um, 
the coaches. Shout out to Coach Roach, Coach Sherman, all amazing coaching staff. I miss y'all. I'll miss you all and love you all. All right, anything else, Eric? Um, protect the hill. Go Danes. Joined by the head coach of the Martinsburg Bulldogs football team, Britt Sherman. Coach Sherman, another national signing day for your team. Four players this year. Signing day already had one sign earlier this year, PWO to WVU and Cam Shallis. But four guys doing it today. How special is it for you and your program? Yeah, it's great for the program. I mean, these guys, our ultimate goal is for them to be great great men and great husbands and, and great community members. But, you know, this is another step for them in their life and the decision that they have to make on, you know, what college they're going to go and, and attend. And then, um, you know, it's a, it's a big decision for them, and it's great for our program for those guys to come here and sign, and, and we can share it with them. So it's kind of a little bit different, obviously, being the head coach. It's ultimately the players' decisions on where they go and what their future will be. But uh, what are some things that you did to help them along their journey to get to their decisions? Well, we just try to help them as much as we can. And recruiting the last couple of years has changed a good bit with social media. And, you know, some of the guys, I talk to their coaches up to the time that they commit. And some of them, I've never talked to some of the coaches that they've committed to because they hit them up on Twitter and then they visit. And so it just really depends on if the if the coaching staff's kind of old school or if they're kind of new wave with some of the stuff that they uh, um, go with. But, you know, most of the program, if, if they're given a lot of money, they're going to definitely check in and, and make sure that that you know they're crossing all their T's and dotting all their I's on, on, on student athletes. But if it's a PWO type deal or or type of situation where not much uh, aids involved, then a lot of times you'll see that they um, you know don't need to, to contact us as much. But we try to help them out as much as we possibly can from the time they step in these doors until they leave here, and then even after they left. I mean, we had. Uh, Ex players here today, and uh, you know that's we pride ourselves on being a big family and and helping the guys even into their adulthood if we need to. Now you uh, shared some comments about each player before they went on and signed here today, but uh, just get a little bit more about how much each and every one of them uh, meant to your program. And let's start off with uh, Jameer Hunter. Well, Jameer is a great kid, um, and you know we had him for just the one year, and you know I wish we could have had him a lot longer because of just the way he developed in one year, his football IQ, and um, you know just getting in the weight room, working hard, got got an infectious smile, and just great personality, and just one of those kids that he's going to work as hard as he possibly can uh, on every snap, and you know. He got. He ended up winning the Fulton Walker Award, which was which was great because he was a selfless guy and and you know he even returning kicks he was explosive, but he also was our backup holder and had to do that part of the year. And he also wasn't much of a defensive player and ended up being a great defensive player for us through the year. So he really uh, developed and matured as the year went on. How about Roman? Roman Roman's a guy that you know his his brother played for us and Aaron was a great player and we've known Roman since he was since he was little and uh, you know being the number one receiver coming in the year I think the biggest thing with with getting hurt this year was just his leadership and I didn't realize how much leadership that was until we didn't have him and then when we got him back that leadership on the field to kind of direct guys and, and show them where to go and when he got back he didn't have really really huge games I don't think until that last game but just having his presence on the field as a leader was uh, amazing for us, and I think we missed that much of the season because he was out. Now Brent Tewerliger. Brent, um, Brent's probably top two or three best kickers we've ever had. He, you know, and it, going on to play college football, he'll be the first kicker that we've had going on to play college football. And Brent, Brent's a gr great kicker, and, and if he could have just stood back and kicked deep kicks and, you know, kicked his extra points, and he would probably have very, very much higher averages. Um, but we ask him to do a lot of different stuff on special teams. So he can onside kick, he can sky kick. So he's really versatile, and, and I think that uh, will help him at the next level. Last but not least, how about Eric King? Eric King is, is a great player, great kid. Um, I know Eric 
um, had some higher ambitions this year as far as like running the football and doing some things, but he played well for us defensively this year. Um, he, he did whatever we asked him to do. He played on special teams and, you know, I think moving on to the next level, that's something that will really help him as uh, being on all those different units and just helping out in any capacity he could. All right, anything else you want to add, Coach? Well, just um, – we have a golf tournament coming up this off season. We're always doing things to uh, try to better the program. So just um, keep an eye out on our social media. I know uh, June 8th is the save the day for the golf tournament. We've not gotten any of the uh, sign-ups or anything like that out yet. And, um, you know, we're equipment building. We're standing on a pad right now. It's going up, and uh, I really need some brick. So if anybody knows anybody out to brick plant, uh, we need to get some brick donated for this thing to make it look like the doghouse. So I don't know how to find brick, but I'll make sure I start practicing my golf swing. So there you go.